Okay. I'm loud and clear. Yep, loud and clear. We're at 97 degrees. It's reading it on the dyno today. 97 degrees. Unbelievable. Well, this is definitely a good day to be testing our temperatures on the engine. Oh yes, it just it uh, not not too many places in the world it gets hotter than this. Okay. Yeah, we're July 18th, I believe, here in the Midwest. I zoom in here on the uh, temperature. In Mexico traffic, 750 is going to be back taxi in 18 Mexico. In one two four. Sorry. Too hot to taxi that long. <laughs> <laughs> So on the ground here, obviously all our temperatures are still doing very well. Very well. Oil is not even, just barely 100 right now. Nice with the big doors to taxi, the, the open doors. Oh yes. So we're looking at uh, the red line on uh, Jabber Oil is 244, continuous is mid uh, 212s. CHTs are, cylinder head temperatures are uh, 394 for a red line. Anything below that you can run, but continuous is 356. All right, we'll run it up to 1700, do our mag check. Not showing much, it's normal. Rolls clear and free, my gas is on. And we'll apply about half flaps for a short takeoff. And we're indicating oil's in the green. And we're indicating 97 degrees out there on the tarmac. Doors secured and locked over there. Yeah, we're good over here. Doors closed. Belt is good. And Mexico traffic 750 is going to be departing runway 18 Mexico, local flight. Well, it's still pretty short for a hot 100 degree day. Oh yes, and I wasn't even pushing it. See how high we need to go to get some cooler air. That takes about 10 minutes for everything to heat up. Now down to 95 degrees. Actually, let me just switch over to the AWOS here. Okay. One, two thousand, temperature three. Celsius, dew point two, four, altimeter two, niner, 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 remarks, density altitude, three thousand. So yeah, we have a uh, 3,000 foot density altitude and 34 degrees uh, Celsius. Celsius, which is a uh, warm day too. Either way you look at it. Fresh air vents stays pretty cool in here. Oh, yeah. They sure allow a lot of it, fresh air in. I like them because they seal up really well for winter operations right. also. On a hot day, I do run the RPM just a little bit lower, but you decrease the airspeed just a little bit, but uh, definitely helps on your fuel burn and your, your, your temperatures. Now we're indicating 
and uh, cylinder one is 297, 273, 308, 307, 351, which is number five, is always the hottest, 297. Yeah, everything's severely in the green. Yeah. Ground speed's ready. Almost 90 miles an hour and uh, no wind today. And we're still climbing, so that's not yeah, bad. Yeah, It's easy to climb at the 750. Uh, we've dropped nearly 10 degrees already, which is kind of nice. Here feel the difference. But it's still 90 degrees Fahrenheit. If you typically lose 3 degrees per thousand feet. Awesome. With the sun on at this panel with the carbon yeah. fiber, isn't that pretty? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I like our center console. Yeah, it's pretty. We've been flying for almost nine minutes. Takes about 12 minutes before everything stabilizes, yes. yeah. Oh, we're just right at 200 degrees on the oil now. Yeah, yeah I'm 50 RPM less than you could, you, I typically run on a cool day, but uh, yeah. I'm only losing four or five miles an hour. My temperatures are well, well yeah. in the green, so. And our ground speed is now over 100 miles an hour. Yeah. So we've kind of stabilized our uh, elevation here. Still 90 degrees Fahrenheit outside, but everything is just, everything is well in the green. It's actually dropping back down, so we've really stabilized the oil uh, temperature yeah. on here because we were up at 208 for a little while. Yeah. Now we're uh, holding our ele elevation and it's just uh, staying nice and cool. Right. And yeah, look at the CHT. Just, yeah, everything's perfect and we're still uh, warm 89 degrees out here, so it's uh, still pretty warm. Of course, if we kept climbing, uh, it would only get cooler, of course. Exactly. So if we were on a long cross-country day today, we'd probably go up to four or 5,000 feet or wherever it felt nice and cool, and uh, maybe a bit of a tailwind even. And it would be down in the 190s. And, oh yeah, yeah, our oil would go right down, absolutely. So we've been flying for almost 13 minutes. Obviously, you can tell it's not going to go up anymore. Well, uh, no, it's, it's, gone, it's gone down a bunch. Gone down. down. Yeah. Well, we've gone, I guess we've stabilized our altitude. I think yeah. that's the main difference, too, is exactly. once we stop climbing. Uh, yeah. I mean, you start hot dogging it around and climbing and doing this oh, and yeah. doing that. It'll run hot. It'll go run 215, 218, then go back down. But, yeah. But that's typical.
So now come back down to the ground elevation. We'll get ready for the 100 degree temperature down here. Then we're going to try to do a landing with uh, no power. I got full flaps and uh, you can land the stole airplane without any power. Maintain a little high approach. Don't do your typical uh, Cessna. Keep the nose down, and then right when you get to the bottom, you just ease the stick back, hands off the throttle, nose will stay off, and you can just fly right off. Look at that, powered all the way back. Dad doing a great job of keeping that nose way off the ground. 